Last week, we done one tip for every attacker. So this week, we're going to do one tip for every defender. If you do enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Go follow my Twitch, Twitter and TikTok. All in the description of this video. And without wasting any more time, I don't want to prolong the intro. Let's get into the first tip. Now first up, we have Sentry. And to be honest with you, the best combo for the secondary gadgets to be using on Sentry would be the C4 and Impact Grenade. The reason you want to run this is so you can counter shield operators. This is due to the fact that shield is so strong in the new season. Explosives are the best way to counter them. For smoke, you should 100% attempt to learn the SMG 11's recoil. This is due to the fact that any range apart from close range, you're going to be using the SMG 11 over the shotgun. And on top of it, the SMG 11 is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. For mute, I'm going to be showing you an Oregon setup. I use this mute setup on the top floor in Oregon, like literally every game I play Oregon. The most important mute jammers are putting the one on the trophy door and the trophy wall, and then of course have one on the white stairs, and finally having your fourth mute jammer on the radio next to the breach. For castle, you should bear in mind it takes nine punches to break one of your castle panels. So after you hear eight punches, you should be pre-aiming that castle barricade, ready to pre-fire anyone come through the door. For pulse, you should be using a horizontal grip, on the UMP, due to the fact that the recoil is already so low, so you might as well give yourself that extra movement speed. For Doc, you should use the Bailiff on floors and walls to give yourselves line of sights on your teammates to heal them with your stim shot. For Rook, I want you to put your two brain cells together and press E or right bumper on your controller or keyboard and place down your armor pack. It doesn't get more simpler than Rook. If you try to learn the game, play Rook. For Gap Can, you should try stick to placing your traps on double doors due to the fact that Oftentimes, people forget they're walking through a double door and ended up getting blown up. For Tachanka, you should use the VSN with the ACOG due to the fact that it's so low recoil and such a strong gun without an ACOG and with an ACOG, it gets even better. For Jaeger, you should be doing a soft roam. This means that you're roaming but staying near sight, allowing your teammates to have more space around the map. It makes it easier for your other roamers to come back to sight. For Bandit, you should learn a Bandit trick. A good tip I'll give you is if you place two Bandit batteries on one on the left wall and one on the right wall as far as possible, it means when your wall gets EMP'd, you can just place a Bandit battery on the wall that's actually getting Farmated open or aced open and those two bandit charges that have already been placed on the wall give you the time to react to a breaching charge due to the fact that you have the EMP already activated. For frost, a sneaky thing you can do is place two frost mats on the one window. I recommend doing it on a double window due to the fact that you're more likely to get people in the frost mats. For Valkyrie, again, run the horizontal grip. The MPX has so little recoil, you might as well give yourself extra movement speed. Especially when you're running about the map, try to place your black eyes all around the map. For Gav, you got to keep in mind that you counter Jackal, so if you're having issues with a Jackal, run Gavera. For Echo, you're going to have a bit of deja vu here. Run the Supernova shotgun, the best shotgun in the game, please use it. Especially now that the MP5 has lost the ACOG. For Mira, I'm going to be showing you my favourite Mira setup in the game currently. It's going to be on Clubhouse Basement. You got to place one Mira facing blue, with feet holes on your right and head holes on your left. Then, for your second mirror, go to the other side of church and place a mirror in the middle, crouch level, with head holes to the left of it and a reinforced wall to the right of it. This allows you to watch main stairs and anyone that comes down the moto hatch. On top of it as well, you have the blue mirror that your teammate can play, which allows you to not get flanked from blue and no one to drop the hatch into blue. For lesion, you should use your first four goo mines on areas you can't get to from where you're going to be sitting on site. What I mean by this is if there's a default plant spot that you can't really get to during the round, you should use your first four that you get during the prep phase to cover these areas. For Ella, don't use the FO12 shotgun. It's been nerfed into the ground and I don't care how many times Varsity Gaming says it's insane. In fairness, in saying that, I do think he's been shitting on it recently, so props to him. The FO12 is a horrible weapon. Don't use it. For Vigil, speaking of weapons, you should 100% run the Bosch G. The Bosch G has had the biggest glow up of all time recently, especially with the SMG-12 gives you that secondary weapon with a high rate of fire. So use the Bosch G long range and then the SMG-12 close range. For Maestro, you need to ban Brava. Brava is your ultimate counter because it doesn't matter if your glass is closed or opened, she can hack your cameras and completely ruin your day. For Alibi, you gotta keep in mind when you run out or go outside the map and you get detected, there's going to be a question mark inside the Alibi logo above your head. This means that you can run out, spawn peek, and if you spawn peek someone and come back into sight, you kind of soft counter Deimos because Deimos still can't scan you until he either pings one of your gadgets, which you can pocket, or if he red pings you, then he can actually scan you. For Clash, you got to keep in mind that you're the best counter to shields in the current meta. This is due to the fact that you have a big zappy shield 
and what better way to fight fire with fire? For Cade, you gotta learn how to Cade trick, but what I would recommend, if you're trying to start out and learn it, Cade trick the freezer hatch on Oregon Basement. As you can see on screen, it's easily the best hatch to trick in the game, because you can easily pick up your claws and place them down and get cover from your teammate playing on the freezer stairs. For Mozzie, you should use an angle grip on his P10 Roni. This is because it only has 16 bullets in a magazine and a fast reload already, so why not speed it up even more? For Warden, it's a given, but you are the best counter for Blitz and Yang. They're highly prevalent in the meta right now, but people don't play them anymore because the MPX lost its 1.5. So what I recommend you do is run the shotgun and the SMG-12. With the shotgun, you can safely counter shields with your shotgun by shooting them in the feet. And with the SMG-12, you can take the gunfights at long range without having to worry about your shotgun going limp dick on you. For Goyo, if you're playing basement on bank, you can place all four of your canisters towards the server door. This makes it impossible for any attacker to plant, especially if you have a mirror facing the server door as well. For Wamai, I recommend you bring him when you're defending clubhouse, top floor, CCTV, and cash. This is because in combination with the Zami, if you both play rafters, you can place your Wamai's on the green pipes above you, which cover the entire walkway and make it impossible for anyone to nade your Zami barricades. For Oryx, you are the best counter for shields closely behind Clash currently. As long as you have a teammate that's willing to come with you or you find a shield on your own, which is, I'll give it, very unlikely half the time. As long as you stun them on the back, you can get a free kill every time. For Malusi, you should be placing your Banshees in areas where it's hard to destroy by shooting and forces your enemies to be using explosives such as the Ash Charge or a Frag Grenade. For Rooney, you gotta make sure you have a good trigger finger because the DMR is such a powerful weapon and the P10 Rooney is such a stinky weapon at the moment. For Thunderbird, play the Spaz 12 with a Bearing 9. The Spaz 12 is a highly underrated shotgun and the Bearing 9 is even more criminally underrated. So, in combination with both of them, you can kind of frag out. For Fawn, I recommend you bring her on Chalet Basement. There's a good trap you can run by placing your Fawn Razor Blooms in pipes down in the basement. So if they run in, they have to walk more forward and forward and forward. Otherwise, they're going to get killed by the Razor Blooms. But if they keep going deep into pipes, they're going to die regardless. So it punishes any impatient players, which ranked is full of them. For Azami, I'm going to be showing you an Oregon top floor setup that I like to run. You can throw your Azami barricades onto the light above in the middle of games. With two of the Azamis placed down, you can give yourself a one-way angle to a trophy door. Only thing you've got to watch out for is the white swing, but you can place the Zamis to angle off the white stairs. Solus is still powerful. Do not get that twisted. Please run a shotgun with beepers and SMG-11. You basically want to play Solus like you would smoke or mute, where you rely on the SMG-11, but when you get into close range guns fights, you have the shotgun. And to deny plants from below, you can use that shotgun again. For Fenrir, again, you're still super powerful. Don't underestimate Fenrir, but if you want another tip as well to go with that, you want to play ballsy as hell when Fenrir, because you give yourself so much space to swing and fall back and just do whatever you want with your FNAT Dreadmines. And finally, with Tuberal, you should be running the horizontal grip. <coughs> and finally, with Tuberal, you should be running the horizontal grip on the DMR and the MPX. The MPX has low recoil and the DMR is just a tap fire machine. So if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Go follow my Twitch, Twitter and TikTok. Thank you guys for the support and I'll see you guys next week. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no,